This is About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills, author, speaker, and entrepreneur. Sit back and enjoy. Greetings, fam. Today, my topic is even more security jobs aren't safe. <laughs> oh man, I got to laugh about this. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first started this channel, I even though I had a general idea of what I was going to do, there were times I thought, hmm, am I going to have enough material? I mean, yeah, I said I was going to start talking about like some... Um, you know, little stuff with being an entrepreneur, you know, places to get good food, uh, mindset and all of that. But it's amazing how you have an idea what you want to do, but then things start to evolve just because of what you see. Now, ironically, today's topic comes about because of... Uh, an advertisement I saw before the beginning of, I think it was my Saturday video, this uh, this past Saturday, right? Because once I, you know, I monetize the videos and I prefer video ads. I don't like those uh, pop up ads and stuff. They annoy me. That's why I never put them on my on my videos, right? So, and I know some people will say, well, you could get extra money. I'm like, nah, they still annoy me. <laughs> so, you know, I I'd rather sacrifice some money then just be annoyed when i watch my own stuff but anyway there was this video this uh advertisement right because once i upload them I always listen to them I always listen to the videos and you know i let them play out and everything and there was this video about these uh penguin looking automated robots that were doing security right in malls and stuff and I'm, I'm going to be honest, I was like, usually when the commercials are on or, you know, the advertisements are on, I'm, you know, I just kind of let it, you know, I might be reading something or looking at something while I let it play off, play up, play until my video starts. Because even then, I don't really watch the video more so than just listen, right? So I might be in another window, like, while I'm surfing the net. But... I was watching it and it was like, wow, look at these things. And I thought, I'm not going to lie, I thought, you know how they do those movie advertisements? They do it every now and then, especially like for some science fiction thing that's kind of near future. And they'll make it like an advertisement. Y'all ever, ever see those? But it's really for a movie. And I thought this was, that's what this was for. I was like, yeah, is this a movie coming up? Right? You know, I was expecting some mutant monster or something to pop out. I'm like, oh, okay, there's some advertisement. So I looked up the website. I'm like, this shit is real? I was like, oh, snap. And, you know, it was um, an advertisement for Nightscope. And check the link in the description box. Y'all see the type of security robots I'm talking about. And I'm just like, wow. And, you know, it speaks to that whole automation thing. I was like, are you kidding me? Wow. I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. You know, if you have a mall that says, that, you know, say have a... Uh, maybe if it's a large mall, I don't know. Because um, my local mall, they, they got like one or two security officers walking around, but it's kind of small. But, you know, just say 10. Let's just throw out the number 10. You know, that security bot can, A, either replace all 10, and then all you need is someone to maybe sitting at a monitor. Or, you know, they might just need a few. But I'm like, man, even more security jobs? That That's, that's crazy. And, you know, the thing is, and they're talking about everything it would have, facial recognition and all of this. It didn't say if, uh, whether it had any offensive capabilities, but it won't take long before if that becomes popular. Somebody say, hey, let's put a stun gun in this joint. And then with AI becoming more and more intelligent, yeah, Skynet, here we come. Shoot, it was like you might not even need somebody to monitor it. 
And I'm just like, wow. People are working really, really hard to just automate everything. And the thing is, it's crazy. I mean, people aren't thinking about the jobs and stuff, but like mall security, especially in situations like yeah, anybody's familiar with security work or police work, there's a lot of discretion. Like I know for a fact, like a lot of police officers, you know, they make a lot of decisions out there in the street. I know we get a lot of negative stuff about police officers out here, right? And, you know, it's some well-deserved, you know, when people violate someone's rights, yeah, it's well-deserved. But then there's a lot of cops out here who are doing the right thing. A whole lot. It's really a whole lot more. It's a shame that a few bad apples ruin it for, you know, the good cops. There's a, there's a lot of good cops. And there's a lot of, there, there are honestly a lot of people out here who will probably have a criminal record, even when they did something wrong, but for a cop. You get a lot of cops who kept a lot of, you know, they talk about cops locking up these kids and stuff. But you get a lot of cops who, uh, you know, they might, you know, say, you know, catch some kid doing something and say, hold up, let me talk to you for a bit. All right. You know, and I've known cops like that. You know, they'll, they'll talk, they'll jump in somebody's face. The bottom line is they have discretion. If you automate something, how are you going to have discretion? Even in a security, even even in a um, security, uh, mall security. You know, how's this machine, unless it really is being monitored by somebody else, have a real discretion on how to deal with people? You know, if, you know, if a mall security, a human mall security officer sees some kids acting up, you know, he might just need to walk over. He or she might need to walk over and just say a word to them and then it's squashed. You know, but the thing is, they can use some discretion. But it's like, it's such a rush to automate everything. I mean, I mean, I even saw, you know, when I was looking for a thumbnail for this, uh, when I was looking for a thumbnail for this picture, for this uh, video, I even saw like a, a robot chef. I'm like, are y'all crazy? You know, there's sometimes people going overboard, but it's like, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous, and my next video, I probably, you know, I'm gonna say, you know, there's there's some openings for people to do other stuff, but the fact of the matter is, it takes a while for those openings to build up or industries to build up, and I'm just like, y'all must be kidding me. <laughs> I don't know. It's like. You know, there's, I mean, of course, there'll still be some jobs, even with the security. You need somebody to still um, maintain, maintain these things and then monitor, at least for now. You know, pretty soon somebody will figure out, hey, we won't need that. We'll take you. We'll use a driverless truck to deploy them or have them have a some place within the mall or what will pass for malls in the future to, uh, you know, store, store the robots. So, you know, you might get to a point, you might not even need a person. Shit, you might not even need to shoot. They'll come on a thing. And, you know, it's like I said in a video before when I was talking with this librarian. You know, you actually lose jobs with that because that's a, that human security officer. He's going to buy clothes. He's going to eat food. He's going to spend his money at every place else. That, um... The automated security thing is not going to do all of that. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just laughing about it and stuff. <laughs> I mean, imagine just just watching watching this, and then with the media, they they'll make it seem like it's normal or like a cool thing. Should sure, somebody come up with a TV show? <laughs> oh man. You know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. But it just it really just goes to show you that this automation thing is going full speed ahead. But that being said, it really does come down to can we come up with new stuff? And, you know, that's one thing I'm going to always talk about on this channel. I'm going to point out the automation. I'm, that's going to be a regular thing. But I'm also going to say, well, okay, we, we can do some other things. 
it's possible. Yeah, I'm sounding uh, sounding the alarm, but um, it's also a call for people to be innovative. And I got I got a video coming. Um, well, the next one I'm gonna get more into um, how malls can revitalize themselves, which is already happening. It's not even a ROM invention. Just doing research for the next video. It you know, I saw what was coming because it's already here. Anyway, y'all. That's it for today. Let's go make that money.